So we all remember that old Toy Story 2 VHS that we had in our basement that we have so much childhood memories on. All the fun, excitement, and enjoyment out of Toy Story 2 is on this VHS. But before we had that, we had bootlegs! Yeah, that's right, throw that tape in the garbage because we got this cool shit now. The limited edition Toy Story 2 bootleg VHS that was released during the film's theatrical run. As you can see, it clearly steals artwork from the original Toy Story 2 website that was defunct since 2000 or so, at least. As you can clearly see, it kind of looks similar to the actual Toy Story 2 poster, but not really because the characters are not up close and all that. And there's no Jesse, nor is there a THX logo at the side. Remember the spine having that horizontal logo in a profile picture? Well, guess what? We have this instead! Oh my god, that looks beautiful. It's literally just a cover but stretch. And the back is even better because... You don't have all that bonus features and the cast and all that stupid crap. You only got two images and a blurb that's even shorter than the actual tape. But the tape itself shows proof that the movie was actually distributed by New Life Cinema. Wow, I didn't know the same people that did The Mask and Dumb and Dumber did this. However, did they get the quality of the movie right? Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh, there's a trailer on here that's rated PG. Oh, 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 never mind, never mind. It looks like we're going straight into the movie. No trailers or anything like that. Yeah, screw all those, because we don't need trailers. We just need to go straight into the movie that looks like it was filmed in a theater. None of that join us after the feature bullcrap or any of those stupid trailers like the Monsters, Inc. teaser that everybody remembers to the point where it's this channel's favorite video for some reason. And remember that lamp short? Well, that's not on here either. And neither is it from the digital source, because it's from the film source, where it was projected into a theater that was apparently very empty, because I hear nothing other than the film, apparently. Oh, and I should mention that there are these dots that appear in the corner every 20 or so minutes into the film. These are called cue marks, and because this is from a film print, of course they would have to switch the reels every 20 or so minutes of the movie. So much so that if you even spotted them back when this movie came out, they would have gotten annoying, because they're very big, although they do appear for a brief moment, but it's just very cool to see this being played in a theater back in 1990s. And that's why it would be my favorite. Yeah! But that's not all, folks, because guess what? After the movie finishes, we get this. What was that you just saw? Well, it kind of looked like another bootleg. But what bootleg is it? Well, from the quick glance that we just saw, it could be none other than... Yo, check it out! It's Simon Says on a theme recording bootleg! Oh my god, look at this! This is so cool! Dude. At least it's just the ending, though. Like, I mean, it just looks like crap. No wonder it got 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, and it even has the credits, too. <laughs> no wonder this movie is called Simon Says with a Z. It's really terrible. But guess not, that's not even it too, because even though it says PG-13 with a blue banner, um, that's not even it too, because guess what? You also have a white screen of death, fancy, a blue screen of death, even fancier, and this is all followed by another bootleg. But what bootleg is it? Well... That's right, the Thelesync recording of The Sixth Sense is also on this Toy Story 2 bootleg. So technically, that means you're getting three movies in one. The last two just have the endings for some stupid reason. But hey, I guess it works for me. Oh, and guess what? This also has credits. And even worse, too, everybody is blocking the credits, so you can't even see the names. How stupid is that? Well, not even stupid, it's really cool. But don't expect it to last too long, however, because after a couple of minutes, yet another blue screen of death stops it. No wonder it's the end of the tape, it's very odd. Like, there are literally five of these on here. So, we've exposed the Toy Story 2 bootleg, which is clearly just a three movies in one tape. How cool is that? So you've just gotten exposed.